windy. You can see the swans sort of burying their little necks in, bless them, keeping out of the wind. Good morning. Oh, hello. <laughs> just coming up to our first lock of the day, Stanthorne Lock uh, is just around the corner. Uh, apparently there's no one at the lock, so it's only us to go through, but obviously we're a little bit of a queue of a flotilla of boats, so uh, it is what it is, but we've got several to go through to get through Middlewich by the end of the day. I'm just praying we get there before the rain comes. I don't like the rain. There's Malcolm. Right, we're just coming up. You can only really moor one boat on the lock landing here. So Gareth and I have had to hammer a pin in to hold our boats. Oh, I wish there was bigger lock landings. Yeah, strange coming here. Uh, I can still remember the first time I came to this lock when I came to do the Anderton boat lift a couple of years ago. Uh, obviously, I came through this lock a few weeks ago, but coming the other way, and they look totally different. But yeah, bringing back memories. It was a nice cruise, that. But are we going on the Anderton lift? Well, you know we're not, because I've told you. <sighs> well, I just opened that paddle just to open uh, the lock for chugs, to flood the lock. And the windlass flew off and it's caught me on my left cheek and I actually got blood on the windlass and it nearly knocked me out to be fair. Uh, the windlass came completely off uh, the holder so uh, yeah that's that's hurting. I think that's gonna bruise. Malcolm's gone on ahead, so I'm going to go through the lock, more up on the lock landing, and then I'm going to come back up and help uh, Gareth and Lou to bring Lady Brian through. Uh, so Malcolm's carrying on towards Wardle Lock, otherwise known as Maureen's Lock, up there by King's Lock. That's a lot of locks. Immediately when you come out of Stanthorn Lock, you come to the area that had the breach a few years ago. Quite a major breach, a lot of damage done, and I believe it cost millions to put it right. It was closed for ages. Yeah, it's just here, but now it's a popular mooring spot. You can see where the new canal side has been made. But it is a very, very popular little mooring spot now as you're coming in towards Middlewich. closed for some time. Oh, it's getting windy. Just coming up to the lock landing, but there's a boat right across the the, uh, the pound. But what a lovely place to uh, to wait. Of course, that's Tench, famous boat on the waterways. 
always lovely to see. Well, it's all a bit chaotic here at Wardle Lock. There's a boat going down ahead of us there. He's been hovering in the pound. You see Gareth there holding Lady Brian. And of course, I'm here with Chugs. It's always the same. Every time I come here... Yeah, there is a small pound here, but obviously it's a busy, busy part of the canal network. Just through Wardle Lock there, or Mose Lock, is the Wardle Canal. It's the smallest canal in the country. And you have just seen me go through there, uh, I don't know, about four or five vlogs ago. Uh, and there, when we come down to the pound at the bottom, we've got Eaton Moss Boats, where uh, Fran Rich's boat was built. Uh, if we were to go right, we could head down towards the Midlands, towards Stoke, uh, on the Trenton Mersey. But we're heading left, heading towards the Anderton area. So, yeah, won't be long and we'll be through. So just at the lock here, Moe's Lock, and look at this lady here. She follows me on the channel and she doesn't want to be filmed because she's in her gym jams. <laughs> No, she doesn't mind. You don't mind, do you? Of course she doesn't. I got I got some stick for filming Louise the other day. That there's Louise again. But I promise these people don't mind much. Yeah, it's lovely to meet subscribers and people that watch the channel. They picked a boat up about three weeks ago. I didn't really get their names, unfortunately. But trust me, they didn't mind being filmed. I did ask. So, uh, yeah. Well, I haven't got me windless. So I'll leave Louise to do it. So literally, as we come out of this lock, this is the shortest canal in the UK. I've already said several times <laughs> about this little canal. It's called the Wardle Canal, and it goes from here to just under that bridge you can see in front. A total length of 154 foot. Not even three times the length of Chugs. Right, Trenton Mersey ahead, sharp left-hand turn. Thank you, Lou. So there we go, we're on the Trenton Mersey. You can see the King's Lock pub there in King's Lock directly behind me. And as I say, that's the way south. But we're going this way. Bit of a queue, to say the least. I'm third in the queue, got a boat just coming up here. We're at the Middlewich Locks, set of three here. Not my favourites, if I'm honest. But I'm enjoying every day when I'm cruising. I'm loving it. Looking forward to the new waters ahead. That'll be real fun, really good fun. When you come out of the first lock here at Middlewich, it's a tight turn for Gareth in Lady Brian. His boat is 70 foot long. I'm very heavy, so he's going into the second lock there, which is literally just around the corner. It's getting very, very windy. Very windy. So they're just filling the lock for me to bring Chugs in. Uh, Malcolm's been on the radio and he's already moored up there at the bottom, so happy days. These volunteers do a marvellous job here in, uh, in Middlewich. Yeah, I just wish they were on every lock. Well, maybe not. Because I do quite enjoy doing them. Well, I don't hit myself in the face with the windlass, of course. A 
there's quite a queue behind me. I think there's four boats, and I know at least three of them are hire boats and fully crewed. Uh, but I had to open the gate here and help this volunteer, Lockie. Um, you'd have thought, you know, they'd send a member of the crew down to help, and then I had to go back to the boat to bring my boat in. It would certainly hurry things along and make it a lot easier for this poor Lockie here that's trying to do everything and help all volunteers as well. So if you do get a hire boat, please help out on the locks. It makes life a lot easier and quicker for everyone. Thanks a lot, see you again, thank you. That's the Middle Witch 3 done. Uh, we're heading on now towards Big Lock. We're not sure where we're gonna moor up today, but I think the rain is gonna let us know. Here comes Lou with a poorly ankle. Just as you come out of the last lock, there's a water point there. I used that last time I was here. Don't need it today. So much could be done with these old buildings. Beautiful autumn colours now starting to come in. Beautiful reds and golden. Beautiful. Have you had cake, Grandad? Yes. Lots cake. of cake. <laughs> Make them eat cake. <laughs> yeah, we've just been in the big lock and that's changed it's got a cafe on the ground floor now last time I came through here it was all one big pub but we've got one double lock here used to be a wide beam canal this at one time not anymore but the big lock still fits two boats in so uh, yeah we're gonna be pairing up at this next one so uh, we've had a coffee intake back to the boats and then onwards On our way again, had a lovely toffee apple muffin and a lovely cup of coffee. Let's keep going, not far to go now. Yeah, we've just got the big lock to, to negotiate now and then we're onwards and upwards. We're going to try and moor up near one of the flashes. Hopefully, if they're not all taken, that's the plan. Well, we've just let Malcolm and another boat go down, but uh, yeah, Louise is filling the lock now, ready for Gareth and myself to go in. That was quite surreal. I was on the boat, uh, just moving it up a little bit here, and a lady on an electric bike and a gentleman on uh, one of these electric scooter things went past and just said, I love your vlog. So if it was you, hello. Uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's strange when people just say hello to you. Right, let's get through big lock. That's it, last lock of the day. We won't be doing any more today. In fact, I think on the rest of our journey, just to get to where we're going, I think we've only got one more lock, which is a stop lock, Dutton stop lock, something like that. But we won't be doing that today. Just a short cruise, I hope now, to our mooring for the evening. And then it'll be probably, for what we've got planned, maybe another full day uh, tomorrow, but we'll see. 
Uh, apparently there's a lot of rain coming in tomorrow and I'm not a fan of the rain, so we'll see, won't we? Uh, nice little cruise now, in the dry. I hope. Lovely apartments. I think the first time I came through here they were building those. They do look nice, lovely view. And if you're wondering where the doggies are, they have been out here with me, but I'll put them in the boat now. There's rain forecast and to be honest with you, it looks pretty imminent. So uh, at least they're in the boat. I haven't got to mess around trying to get them and the bed and the food bowl and the water bowl uh, back in when I'm cruising. So uh, yeah, at least they're in the wall, nice and dry and safe. Just going over the Croxton Aqueduct. This used to be a wide beam canal, but I suppose it was down to money. They made it a narrow one when uh, the wide beams were no longer needed to haul freight down here. I certainly remember last time I came through here, reeds everywhere and several set of narrows like this. Looking forward to the wide waters of the Bridgewater Canal.